ahead of the game against Cowan Beef? Um, really looking forward to it. I had the pleasure of watching Cowan Beef down at United um, at the weekend, so a real formed opinion of them. And um, so that I'm looking forward to it because it gives us an opportunity to almost uh, put things right in terms of performance. I was really unhappy. It's, there's no secret made of that. And uh, I'm looking for more. I think the boys now, after the dust has settled, are looking for more from themselves. So it's an opportunity for us to go to Cowdenbeath, which will be a difficult venue. Historically, I've played there. It's always hard. Um, and Cowdenbeath will be a difficult opponent, but I would like to think that if we play to our strengths and, and properly play, that um, it's an opportunity for us to win the game, and that's what I'll be looking for us to do. And as you said there, you didn't make any bones about the fact you weren't happy no. with the last performance. They didn't get the day off at the weekend. No. That was sort of indicative of, of how hacked yeah. off you were, really. Yeah, very, very disappointed um, and I'm pleased because we won the game uh, and one or two performances within that, as I've mentioned uh, previously at the weekend, but on the whole, no, the performance was not great. Um, should I tell you what? Uh, I was like, it's an orchid or something there, isn't it? Um, no, I was really unhappy with lots of elements of our play. Uh, we got into the final third so many times and didn't do enough with it. I thought we looked a wee bit slack defensively, a um, wee bit disjointed. So we've worked hard on that over the last couple of days. Um, we got to sit down yesterday and clear the air on what's expected, to reinfirm what's expected. And um, as I said, Wednesday provides us, tomorrow night provides us with an opportunity to put it right. Is it fair to say then that you're looking for improved performance as well as the result then? Yeah, yeah, it's fair to say that, yeah. Um, I think really that it's, it should be a steady progress, a steady improvement, getting ready towards the start of the league campaign. And uh, as I said, uh, but what can never be overlooked is what I'm always on about is about winning. And it's, it's, it's the mindset I wanted to change when I came in here last season. It should be the, from the first day of the pre-season. It was the same message, and it was. So um, we're on the back of two wins. We go to Cowden Beath, we won the get three. And then uh, we prepare ourselves for the weekend after that. Well, of course, they're under a bit of pressure now because they need to win their next two games. So you expect and anticipate that they're going to be... Well, well, they have to have a go, and it's uh, and I know Billy Brown well. Billy doesn't step backwards. Um, I loved working under Billy Brown at Hearts. Uh, I've got so much respect for him as a coach, uh, as a person, what he tries to drive within the team. So I know he'll have couldn't be thought for it. Um, and uh, he might even phone his mate Jim Jeffries for coming down and get a wee team talk as well. That's some uh, double team, but I, I just know that Cowden Beath have got nothing to lose. And if I've if I'm in charge of a team who's got nothing to lose. I'll try and implement something that gives us an opportunity of getting a win. and Because it really doesn't matter if he sees right, it's a, it's a win or bust sort of thing, then I think they'll come out and have a go at us. They sat off Dundee United and they were quite defensive and tried to respect the opposition. They might come out against us. But if they come out against us, we've got some real good players in the final third that hopefully can hurt them. Progression tomorrow could be guaranteed with a third win on the drop. Surely that's enough. Well, I we're not looking f as far forward as about what's required points wise. As I said to you, the message has been constant. I'll see it all the time. The people are listening to this on the TV and whatever you, it's getting put out is. I think it's, just, it's been over and over. Well, it has to be repetition, repetition about winning games of football, whatever it takes. So, um, yeah, if we win the game, then it puts us in a better position what we're sitting in today. And Billy Brown, as you mentioned, he's always very organised when he puts out. Great, as I said, I can't speak highly enough about uh, Billy as a coach. Um, and, and, and he'll work with the players at his disposal to try and get them into a, a solid unit, compact, hard to beat, and then maximise opportunities they get. So we've got to match that with the right attitude. And attitude pretty much will be key tomorrow. Um, and as I said, that's why I was disappointed uh, in the game against Bucket. I don't think our attitude to our training, our attitude to the game and what we've been doing in training to carry out the same things was done properly, and I'll be looking for that to be put right on Wednesday. Fixture card on, so maybe it's been set. It's like you've taken some of the games from your competitors. Yeah, it's like I said, they've been giving us the advantage of seeing teams, and when we haven't had the, the, the um, what's the word uh, I'm searching for, like the, the luxury of, of looking at your opposition personally, like Bucky, for instance, we've always had someone that's gone and seen them and come back with a report, so we don't win any game blind. But as you're right, I think the way the fixtures have fallen, it's given both myself and Graham, um, mm. Tommy to come over and compile a, a dossier, set pieces, how they work, how they, how they, they shape up, how they, 
how positive they are going forward, what they do structurally even in defence, so it gives us a real good indication of how they'll play. Is it good to have what could potentially be quite a tough game against Cowes and Beef, almost as a buffer before you've got the derby at the weekend? I don't use anybody as a buffer. I wouldn't disrespect Cowes and Beef in any way to say that they're a war opposition that's going to like sparring partner for a big check. No, I don't do that. Um, that's something that I said about Bucky Thistle that I, I felt that we disrespected them um, in the way by not playing at our absolute top level um, and that's the way I, I, we didn't disrespect them in term, and respect them in terms of the preparation um, or, or trying to like do back heels and do stuff like that I just didn't play at our level and that's how you respect the opposition you go out no matter who you're playing against and you play at your very best and that's what we're doing against Cowden Beef so do you think it's good that you've sort of learned that lesson prior to going into the game against well, Cowdenbeath because so much attention is obviously focusing well, on Well, I think, I think the, the positive thing from that is that you, you learn lessons by still winning the game. You know, you, lessons can be hurt, more hurtful if you're coming on the back of a defeat. Um, so we're coming on the back of a win and still getting the same message across, which is important. Um, and that's something that I'll, that I'll reaffirm to the boys that... Um, it's about that winning thing, no matter what it takes, you win and then you learn your lessons and you go again. Certainly far too close around some of the players haven't been. It's an unusual place with the race track around there. <laughs> yeah. Quite far back, bumpy surface. Yeah. Is that likely causing any problems when you go there? Well, it won't be a bumpy surface, I don't think, tomorrow. Um, it'll be an early part of the season. I think generally the pitches will be in nice condition. If it's warm, it'll be sticky. I don't think it'll be cut too short. Um, so this stage of the season, groundsmen tend to try and protect the pitch so they don't cut it too short. So, if anything, we might have had to deal with that. It's a tight pitch, as I said. Um, it's tight on their own, a couple of yards either side, a few yards either side, actually, of the penalty box. So, it brings the, the width of the pitch in, which makes, if you're playing with two wider players, you know, you have to think about um, aspects of your game and how to stretch the pitch, especially if you're pointing a body behind uh, the ball. But um, no, the surroundings are, are something that you take into consideration when you arrive at the ground and you're looking about. Once you're on the pitch, it's it's the same as, as normal. You're just concentrating on the game. Any new players? <laughs> There's been that many, has there? Uh, no, no, no new players. Uh, no new players coming in through the door today, no. Um, you had been linked to a move potentially for Josh Meekings. Any, any sort of details on him? No, who linked that? No, it was a game. He took in the game at the weekend. Uh, and he's been in around the ground. Um, the boys know got a contract, a, a contract with any club at the minute, and um, we have like our physio Jerry Doherty just have a wee look at him. So we gave him a jacket the weekend because it was a bit cold. It wasn't <laughs> as sunny as it has been, and uh, there you go. It was a new player. So you can confirm he's not a new player. <laughs> you can confirm he, uh, Josh Meekings is not a Dundee player. Um, overall, how would you say the, the the league's gone so far? Are you happy with the performance? Could Better, what would you have improved on? Well, always want to improve, always want to be better. Um, but the results can't be bettered, and for that reason, I'm very pleased. It's, it's six points out of six, um, but you're always looking for more, and I'll get more. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and think oh, that was a polished article. We are quite a bit away from being the finished article, not only because it's early in the season, but we are trying to integrate so many new players into a system, into a dressing room. They have to have an understanding. I have a knowledge of trusting each other's games and that's going to take a wee bit of time but everybody who's playing early games at this season even the big boys who are playing in the Europe um, are not up to full speed yet um, Obviously you, you being a pain stress you're concentrating on cows and beef first and foremost but yeah. there must be a wee bit of a buzz about the place about the derby Not even interested in the derby <laughs> The fans will be buzzing about it but honestly you'll probably it's, it's cliche that it we can't look as far because if we fall if we fall down against Cowden and Beef and we take our eye off the ball against Cowden and Beef then you can you can come a cropper. Um Bucky Thistle, two 0 could have been seven or eight, keeper had a great game that day. If we fall short of our expectations, what we want to achieve then Cowden and Beef of course are, are in the, the football league, they're a step up again. Um it might be it might be a disappointing evening. I don't want that to happen, so it's full steam ahead for Cowden and Beef.